Hi everyone, it's Christy. I want to attempt to make a piece of snippet trim today. Um, I have this uh, lace I got from Walmart. It's in the um, gift bag slash floral section. It's six inches wide. So what I've done, I've got um, a piece of linen and this is about 24 inches long approximately and so I've cut uh, about a 12 inch piece of, of this and cut it um, in half vertically so it's about the same length so what I am going to do right now first thing um, I'm going to go and sew on this bottom um, lace here so that I have a uh, foundation and then I will um, be back and we'll okay, start. So I have this piece right here that I want to use. Um, I don't remember where this came from. I want to say it was like a headband from um, from Dollar Tree maybe. Either way, I think I got it from my daughter. I know it was a headband. I don't know where it came from. So I'm just going to cut these. Um, it's embroidery on a little bit of black netting. So I'm just going to cut these apart and kind of place them. I say randomly, but you know, nothing's random here. Okay, so you probably won't be able to see everything I've, I've done here because camera doesn't have that wide of an angle but this is where I'm going to start you'll be able to see the center here I um, I pulled out some some doilies I've got some little applique flowers I've got some some more little trim of various kinds so uh, I'm going to start with the larger here and just um, all I did was zigzag around, and then of course it was two pieces, so I zigzagged down the middle. And that's not going to matter because I'm going to cut everything apart. So, let me put that away. I have this with some flower uh, motifs on it. So I think I'll just, maybe I'll cut. I've got three, let's see, one, two, three, four. Or five. Maybe I'll do five. And then this can go, this little piece can go in my snippet jug. Okay. I do use those for layering. Like if I am doing the little clusters, I will use those for clusters. But okay, so let's move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I think I'm just going to cut through there. Okay, and then cut off this extra netting here. There again, not worrying about perfection. That's about as random as I can get. <laughs> Actually, I am going to cut off the corners of this though, make it a little less choppy. I'll put this one this way. Space them out a little bit more because I can put a piece right here in the middle. And this was a bulk lace purchase I got on Amazon. Which in listening to people on YouTube, um, I'm figuring that probably a lot of this lace on Amazon is coming from the same place as AliExpress, only I'm paying three times more to get it on, on my Amazon Prime quickly. Okay, let's see. I'll put this one here. Good. Okay, so 
what glue do I, I think I'm just going to use my clear, clear tacky gel. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and glue these down. Ooh, I don't want that. That's not fun. Okay. It's tricky to tell which side is which of the embroidery sometimes. I do want to make sure it's attached pretty good, but you know, I'm not going to stress about it because um, when I get ready to use these, I, if I cut it apart and it's loose, I'll, I'll add more glue or whatever. And then what I like to do usually when I, well, usually, I'll say the last time I did this, um, I just cut them up and then I added more lace and some words and um, maybe a, a button or a ribbon or whatever. Um, and then I put it on a, a ticket. I'm just going to glue the rest of these down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all those glued down and then I have this piece kind of reminds me of uh, waves, but it's got little tiny embroidered roses in there. So I think I'm just going to cut between each one. Oh, these scissors. This is why they're not in my sewing anymore. Sometimes work better than others. So I think I'm just, I'm going to try and put, you know, in between now. And... like so yeah okay so let's attach this this is from that same batch of lace that I got on Amazon. I think there were six different designs and it wasn't a standard measurement. It was like some was a yard, some was 18 inches, so a little bit a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but if you don't have any, you know, stash of this sort of thing, it's nice to be able to have some variety. Okay. And I, I am going to continue to overlap because, you know, I just, I, I want random, <laughs> I keep using that word random, um, I want different things to peek out. It's not, it's not random by any means, but I want a variety of texture. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So, and I have used the clear gel for this before, and I know that it works very well for the fabric. Looks like when they embroidered these little roses, they used like a variegated um, fabric because like this one's pink and white, this one's pink and white, this one's just the, the darker. Yeah, so they're, the looks like a variegated thread, kind of cool. I'm not completely saturating all this because um, when, when I get ready to cut them apart, they are going to be, there are, there's going to be places that don't have glue and I'm going to have to redo. I'm just basically getting it to tack down till I decide what I want to do with it. Okay, so that's the roses. Let's see what else I've got. 
I've got some of this trim. Oh, this is cute. And I can just, do I want to cut them smaller? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, and just put a little here and there without the lid. <laughs> put one here. probably need one more of these. And like I said, this one's hard to tell which side's which, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I've got three. Oh, maybe five might just be right. Okay. Put that at the back. If I can't tell, then neither will anybody else. So I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to tack that right on the end. Okay. So that's the that one. What else have I got? I wanted to save the um, these little floral motifs for last. Um, let's see. I don't know if I want to use this one or not. Um, that might be cute kind of along the edges here and there. Let me do about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll do seven of these. And I'm going to cut off a lot of this net here. I think I'll go between. I'm going to have to cut this in like a, I think I'll go between and then cut around that vine because I like it. I think it's cute and whimsical. So then uh, that'll get me in here and I can go through this net. for this one I'm just going to glue down here it might be easier there we go get another one I think I'll do a little bit on the end here. Switch it up a little bit. Sorry you guys can't see that. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm just running that piece along the, the edge there and then I'll, I may or may not trim that off and then I'll do another piece over here on this edge. And then I can cut that little flower off and put it somewhere else. Okay, let's see, I've got three more. That one doesn't have a flower on it. Okay, 
So let's. the other flower on it. And here. I think I'll just trim this one. And put a piece through here. And then put through there. And cut this piece off. And here and then I'll do that up on this as this end as well now where do I want to put that I've got one there one there I think I'll stick it here just because there's a big area there trim off some of this netting Okay, so I've got, I've got this one, but I think I'm not going to use this one. I don't want to use that one for that. I'll see what else I've got. This one is more of a, a crochet. It's embroidery, but it's thicker. It doesn't feel necessarily, it's a different thread. It doesn't feel like nylon. Um, I think I'll just put a couple of these. Let's see. Um, and I'll cut through the motif here. Almost looks like crowns. In fact, this one, this one was double. And I cut down the length of it to make two so that I could have more. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some here. And put a little bit up here. And attach that down. And a little bit here. No, that one's covered pretty good. I'll put one over here. Just along the edge here. Like so. Okay, and I know there's a few places that you can, you know, I'm not trying to cover up the zigzag stitch, but I'm just using that as a, a guideline for um, where I haven't put anything. So let's see what else I've got. I've got this, these little daisy type motif 
Um, yeah, maybe I'll just put a couple of those down. This one's kind of half. I'll put that over here in my snippets. So let's do... Let's do here. And I'm going to move this because I know it's not dry yet. So put that there. Put this back here. Okay. Now where? Maybe put one upside down over here. And I think that's good. So I think what I'm going to do now, I don't really think I need to use any of these until I'm ready to actually use them because the idea is to, um, you know, make these things ahead. Because I've got these. These are really neat. Ooh, I have a butterfly. Okay, definitely have to use the butterfly for this journal. Let's see if I have any more of those. Oh, I do. Let's see. So I've got two butterflies. That's perfect. These are really cool. There's another butterfly in case I need a backup. But I think the two... Oh, there's a larger one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I have this. I um, My machine, my sewing machine is supposed to be able to make this lace. Um, if I can get it to the repair shop and get that piece fixed, then... Um, I can start embroidering some of this stuff too and not have to buy it. This um, freestanding lace, I really like it um, on the mesh background. So yeah, I think um, I think I'm going to wait this part until I get everything dry, kind of cut it apart, and then after this is dry, I'm going to come back. I'm not going to use this big one. I might use that on the cover. Um, I am going to come back and cut some and put them on the the ticket paper clips so that I can use them in this journal. So when this dry, I'll be back. Okay guys, I think this is dry enough to cut apart now. I, um, I went ahead and cut one half of it. Um, and of course pieces fall off like for instance this piece right here is not not very good at all um, but I don't want to put a ton of glue on it because I don't want glue all over my scissors so I just want to oh for heaven's sake come on okay I just want to tack that down for a second. So this is about as random as I get. I fold it in half and I cut it apart. And that piece still did not stick. Let's set that aside for a second. Okay, you can see it's still wet on the back. Um, it takes, takes a while for the fabric. Um, so I'm going to cut this one. I think I'm just going to cut this one right down the middle. Um, and then I'll cut these. When I cut them into eight pieces, it gives me about an inch and a half. And that's just about right. Cut that one in half. And you can see I've just out of the 24 inches I've got you know I'm gonna have 16 here so um, I think I'm gonna cut this this one is a little bit but I don't want to cut the rows in half yeah that comes right down the middle of the rows so I'm gonna cut just 
beside it. And then cut this one. And you know what? I'm going to have to glue that piece back on. And cut this one. Oops. Something thick there. Okay. So now I can put this piece back on. here. It was probably a little over, but that's where it's going to be now. Okay, so I, um, what I want to do, I went ahead and made a couple of little faux tickets. Uh, these are just cutoffs, little scraps. This is actually the bottom of the um, tall tag from yesterday's tutorial and I've taken two pieces and I've glued a paper clip in between. Now I know a lot of people like the big piece coming out. I like the little piece. Um, it just I have a, an easier time being able to get this on the page because I've got a little bit of paper to and then I can slide on. Otherwise the paper clip comes way down here and I'm going to have to have a longer tag and so for me leaving the little one out just works a little bit better. So I'm going to take some and I'm what I'm going to be doing is attaching a butterfly and I saw this on Pinterest and I went back to look for it and I cannot find it but they had had a butterfly they used a brad for the head and the bulb pin for the body and I just thought it was so cute but I didn't have any black brads so what I did was I used an eyelet and then I just tied the, um, what do you call it, the fun fur eyelash trim in there and that's what's holding on the bulb pin because when I tried to sandwich the bulb pin between the paper and the eyelet as I squeezed the um, thingamajigger it pops the uh, the bulb pin pops out so it's just tied on there like that and um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna I, I, I want to attach to that and I think I may put another little tiny piece of lace behind that and then I'd like to have a word but the first thing I want to do is pick two so um, it doesn't really matter I, I kinda like to have the ones that have the the darker um, area so I think I'll pick these two and I'm going to flip those over and I am just going to glue this paper clip that's been sitting for a while and I want to attach that to the back and you can do this with hot glue also I'm just not hot glue and I do not get along so I'm going to put this toward the top a little bit. There's going to be hangover all the way around. And I just want to press that down. And then I think I'll add a clip here for a second. What is that? Oh. We know how that got in there. Okay. So I'm going to clip this. I think I'll just clip it top and bottom. I had more clips, but I don't know what happened to them they've gotten buried. I have this little tray under here that keeps getting pushed back farther and farther and I only use what's in the front of it generally but okay that way that's gonna hold for a minute while I do this next one Same thing, I want it toward toward the top, but not all the I don't want it up to that lace there. So okay. Just enough to hold it. And some little tiny pieces will pop off and that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Alright, so while that's dry, I, drying, I want to show you how to do this, the butterfly. Um, I have cut out a butterfly from one of the background pieces of cardstock. I'm just going to ink around there. I'm 
just to hide the, the white edge. Okay, now the next part's kind of tricky, but I don't think it is, um, I think if you go to the edge, it's okay because you've got that eyelet holding to the paper, but I'm trying to leave maybe like a sixteenth of an inch when I punch the hole so that it's not, I won't be able to show you this because I can barely see it myself, but I'm looking at this edge here and I'm just wanting to leave a, just a little tiny bit. So I'm going inside just like that, okay? It's about a sixteenth of an inch or maybe even less. All right, so I had a, an eyelet, there it is, and I want to pop this eyelet in here like so and then I'm going to well get back in there squish it in this is the hardest part right here there we go okay so now that eyelet's there and you can see it goes, it wraps around the paper, so even if you happen to cut to the edge, I think it would still work. Um, I'm actually going to come back in there and squish it from the other side a little bit, just so it's a little flatter. Um, now, I have the bulb pin, which like I said, if I, I tried to squeeze it in between one the first time and it just kept popping out. So. Um, the best way to, that I did it, or I figured you could do it, was to uh, tie the eyelash yarn. So I need about a about a six inch piece, and then I'm not looping it through. I'm actually going to tie it in a knot, and I'm just going through this way. Tying that knot. There's one loop and then another loop. If I don't tie a knot, the eyelash trim will be too loose. And it's, you know, it, it's just the nature of it. It's got a lot of bulk. So I'm trying to tie a knot without ripping through it or tearing it, but that holds that the bulb pin on there and then I can trim this and I've got my my little antenna I like the way that turned out and like I said I I just saw it on in, on uh, Pinterest I went back to look for it and could not find it I did not apparently um, save it like I thought I did okay so this is the top and I think think I've got some little scraps over here of a wider lace. I just want to put a little bit of that maybe back there behind the butterfly. And then I've got some some words also. Um, I want it to be smaller words. Um, I don't want to have big old sentences. Um, let's see, I should have probably thought this out ahead of time. Okay, so I've got laughed often, dream big. Let's do that. So I've got A little piece here. I'm just gonna put a circle there. Tack that on. Just another layer. And then I am gonna ink this. If I had one that said fly, that would have been really 
nice being as it's a butterfly, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to put some little bit of glue on the back of this. And it's just about the same length as that. Do I have it right way? Yes. Make sure I have it the right way up. And then I am just going to pop this butterfly down. Now I am going to glue the butterfly down because there's not an awful lot of area to attach where the middle is and the bulb pin. But there we go. I'm going to just attach that down like so. back a little. I don't need those all in there. So there's one. And then I've got a, a dream big. Where's that other piece I was? Oh, here. Make sure I have it top ways up. And I want to ink this. glue on it. Oh, I'm going to put that extra piece. Actually, I think I'm going to put that extra piece up here this time. I don't really want to cover up that whole rose. So, put the dream big here. Everything's sticking to me. And I think I'll put the butterfly down this way this time. I'm going to have to get a new glue bottle out. This one's running low. I don't realize how much glue you go through. Alright, so I think I'm going to lay that there and maybe move that up just a smidge. There we go. I want to be able to read it, otherwise what's the point? Okay, so there we go. So we've got our snippet tram, and um, I've got two clips for my Butterfly Delight journal. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that this kit that I'm using is the Artie Mays Butterfly Delight. I mean, I mentioned it on other videos, but maybe not this video, so um, anyway. I, I like that. I think they look good. So, um, I am going to uh, sew in the pages. And I just realized I did not put trim on the designer pages. So, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to sew in the pages. And I think we are just about uh, finished with... Uh, I need to add in some tags and tickets and such and then um, so we might be doing a flip through next so um, but I'll see how much I get done and um, I'll see you next time thanks for watching